Hey guys, I'm going to do a quick microfiber drying towel comparison. Uh, just because a bunch of people that are uh, subscribing to my channel recommended a couple of the other ones here. So I'm going to do a comparison. I'm going to hose my Shelby down really quick and I'm going to see how these perform. They all feel very similar as far as the microfiber content except this one here. So starting from the top left, this is the Griot's Garage PFM drying towel. The one next to it is the Rag Company Twist and Shout. And then it also includes this little guy right here. But believe it or not, when I ordered it, it said it's two pack. And I honestly thought you were getting two of these for $36. And you only got one of them. I'm a little disappointed in that. Also, this one is not as thick as the Griot's Garage. That's just from physically feeling it. This one here is the Rag Company. They call it the Fluffle. Uh, this one's really, really soft. Not very thick at all. Uh, it's got like a longer strand microfiber and this one here is from a company called I Hate Detailing. This is the cheapest one here. The microfiber feels very similar to the Griots and very similar to the uh, Rag Company Twist and Shout. Except on this one, you look here, the back side does not have the same microfiber pattern. I am not sure why it's like that and this does have a little bit of a rough feel to it from my fingers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hose the car down, I'm going to go through each one individually, just on the hood of the car, maybe the roof, and I'm going to see how they perform. I'm going to have the camera on my head, and then I'm going to give you a comparison. I mean, this towel here is, uh, you know, these are 30 bucks for a pack of two. This is $38 for one. This is $36 for one, even though they're selling it as a two-pack online, and I guess they give you this little guy to make up for their uh, misleading advertising. And then this is like $16 uh, for one of these. So I, I really thought that this was a great value, but I wasn't sure about the back side of this. So I'm not sure why they didn't put the same material on the back. And this is also very thin. It's not as thick as the Griot's Garage. So overall, from feeling everything here, I still think that the PFM is going to be the best one and maybe the best value. Uh, but then again, I'm sure all of these other towels will perform equally as good. So um, let's strap the camera on and we'll give it a shout. Here we go. All right, guys, here we go. Just gonna hose the car down. We're gonna go through a couple of drying tests. Okay, call this the fluffle. So let's just see how this does. And we're just gonna drag it across the surface. And this actually works really well. Really, really well. All right, something that I noticed, it's picking up a lot of weight. Very similar to the Chemical Guys Woolly Mammoth. Okay, see here? That's what you don't get with the, with the uh, PFM Griot's Garage Towel. And that's why I still love it. See, like I'm, ha I'm, I'm constantly having to go over the same sections here. And you can see there's a lot of haze. And I'm going over it. Let's go to the windshield. I mean, like I said, it does a decent job. I'm going to be honest with you. I think I could tell in the few seconds that I'm using it already that this is not as effective as the PFM shorter strand microfiber. All right, so I'm going to stop this. Let me, let me go switch this towel. I mean, this one's decent. I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy this towel. So the Rag Company Fluffle, if you think it's going to be the ultimate drying towel, well, I don't think it is. I mean, maybe this towel will be good for, you know, just general spray wax, detailing, stuff like that. But I don't know. It, it feels really flimsy and cheap. I don't like the long strands. It, it picked up a hell of a lot of weight uh, just doing what I'm doing here. So let's switch towels. Let's do this again. All right, guys. We got the Rag Company Twist and Shout is up next. Okay. Let's see how this does. I'm going to move over to this side of the car. And we're just going to drag it across the surface. And this one works really well. This one works, I would say, equally as good so far as the Griot's PFM towel. But like I said, look at the price. They're pretty much priced the same. So it's a matter of preference. Uh, I mean, I could get the Griot's PFM towels locally and the rag company, uh, my local distributors over here, don't sell this. So overall, the twist and shout, this is a good towel. And you can see the results. I mean, it works well. It works just as good as the uh, PFM so far. 
So let's see. Yeah, this is a good towel. I like this towel. I mean, I don't think it's a bargain. I, I honestly thought I was getting two of them for the price of 35 or $36. So a little disappointed in that in the marketing. So it's really a matter of preference of what brand you like. And to be honest with you, I don't really care. I just want to use whatever's going to work best for my life. So let's switch it up. We're going to get another this towel. This is the I Hate Detailing Towel, which feels very similar in the microfiber strands as the other ones, except the fluffle. Okay. So we're going to use, of course, the longer strand side. And we're just going to drag it. I mean, this towel is very, very light. And that works really well. Works really well. I mean, it's, it's definitely not as good as the PFM and the Twist and Shout. It's leaving a little bit of a residue on the surface. And I hope the camera could pick that up. It's also starting to pick up a lot of weight right now. And you can see the backside is heavily saturated. So I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to see what the backside does. Yeah, see that? I don't like that. I don't know why the backside is like this. It's got like, you know, almost like a waffled textured pattern. I mean, it's kind of a kind of abrasive. I don't really like that. I don't know if I want to use that on my finish. But uh, the other side seems to work well. But look, you're paying less than half the price and it seems like you're getting half, half the towel because only one side of the towel is as effective as it should. And the other side, not as effective. And that's just from my initial test right here. So let's go under the windshield again. Yeah, it's, it's just leaving a lot of residue. It's not picking it up. And the towel is getting very, very heavy. So, yeah, this one sucks. I don't, I don't think it sucks terribly. I mean, it's, it's decent. It's okay. I mean, it's cheap. It's 15 bucks. But the towel is very, very heavy. The PFM towel, when I dry my entire car, never, ever gets this heavy. I don't know why. I don't know what's going on with that, but I never have to wring out the towels. This one right here is pretty heavy. I would have to actually run this through my wringer if I want to continue using it. So I'm going to switch to the PFM towel, and we're going to show you guys what that does. Okay, guys, this is the last one here, the Griot's Garage PFM towel, the one that I absolutely love and the one that I've been using constantly. So let's see how she does. I mean, I already know what this towel does, but just so I can show you guys. Okay. I mean, it works great. I mean, look at that. There's no residue at all. So, the conclusion to all of this is the Rag Company Fluffle Drying Towel, I think, is decent, but it's not great. Okay? I think the Rag Company Twist and Shout is a great towel. I think it's equivalent to the Griot's PFM in many ways. The Griot's PFM is a little bit thicker. That's just the way it's manufactured. But I'm going to be honest with you. They're priced within 98% of each other. So there's no bargain going either which way. So it's obvious that if you want the ultimate performing microfiber drying towel, you're going to have to pay about 40 bucks for it. And that's just the reality of it. I think the cheaper stuff that's out there is good. But I mean, look at that. Look at the glass. There's no residue in one pass. And we're gonna go show you on the roof here. Same thing. I mean, it's just, this PFM towel is absolutely outstanding. I love it. And uh, like I said, I appreciate Justin, Felix, and Jason for uh, recommending me that I try the other ones. I mean, I just ordered them up. They just showed up now. And I said, let me just give them a quick shout and uh, see how they work. So it was a good test. I enjoyed doing this and I wanna, you know, just pass on this information to you guys so you don't just go spend money that you don't have to spend trying out towels. So depending on what you want to buy, you know, if you want a purple towel that works good, get the, uh, the Rag Company Twist and Shout. If you want a Griot's Garage Towel, the PFM all day long. I still think this is the best one out of all of them. I uh, hope you guys like this comparison video and uh, I hope the camera was able to pick up a lot of what I was doing here so you could kind of get in real time you know, the testing that I'm trying to do for you guys. 
And I just want to pass this information along to everyone because, uh, like I said, why, you know, like I spend a lot of money trying stuff out. I don't think you guys really want to do that. So I think you want to subscribe to my channel or other sources out there to kind of see what other people are doing. So you don't need to spend money, try it, hate it, you throw it out, and you just move on. So you keep spending, spending, spending. So I think with the drying towels, I think we've ironed it out to two that are outstanding. I still think the Griot's PFM is the best one uh, out of everything so far. So any questions, comments, post them below. But uh, the results speak for themselves when, I, when you watch this video. Take care, guys. So guys, my final thoughts on the towels. I started finishing up a little bit drying of my car. The Twist and Shout from the Rag Company is completely soaked and extremely heavy and it lost its effectiveness by more than 50% right now. This towel needs to be wrung out with the professional wringer, otherwise it's not going to be able to do the job. The uh, I Hate Detailing Towel, this thing is totally useless, $16 thrown out the door, so I'm most likely just going to use this to uh, do stuff that's not very important around my garage. And then the Fluffle Towel, it's a nice towel, I mean it's, it's soft, it comes two pack, whatever, 27 28 bucks, but it's not the greatest drying towel out of all of these. The winner is the Griot's Garage PFM towel, hands down. I've been saying it all along. Believe me or not, do what you guys want, but I'm just showing you right here. This towel is loaded with water, super heavy. This one is even heavier. This one didn't really soak up everything. And the Griot's Garage, I can still dry another car with this before I go wring it out. So, hope you guys like this comparison, man. I'm going to finish up and uh, head out the door.